Has Kanye West been replaced with a clone? What happened to make people think that he might be one? Welcome back to Critical Theories, and in this deep dive down the rabbit trail, we will be discussing why people think that Kanye and several other celebrities might have been cloned for nefarious purposes. Recently, Ye has been pretty quiet. Ever since the debacle that caused his public image to tank, including his contract being severed by Adidas, the revolutionary hip-hop artist has remained largely underground. There were rumors that he was working with Travis Scott on his newest album, but nothing was confirmed until Scott brought him out on stage with him during a show in Rome. However, the shrouded nature of the cameo has left some eagle-eyed fans asking questions. Whether concealed by a scarf or just the shadows, Kanye remained mostly covered up during the performance. The concern that they might not be watching the real Kanye West reignited an old conspiracy from 2016. Many believe Kanye is a clone. This rumor is partially due to things the rapper himself said beforehand. He was notorious for making cryptic statements about leaving or disappearing. He would say things like, if I ever go, you know why. And saying mysterious things about the shady dealings of the Illuminati and other powers that be. The most famous claim was, if I ever disappear and come back, it's not me. While the original source of this quote cannot be found, many on the internet still believe these to be his words. And Kanye has, in a sense, disappeared a few times. After major public events, Kanye has a habit of going radio silent for a period of time before re-emerging as a new version of himself. Many fans claim that this transformation is far from hyperbolic. They believe the real Kanye West has been missing for nearly 10 years. Celebrity impersonators have been a common thing for decades. The most popular might be the Elvis impersonator. From what we hear, singing and dancing like Elvis can be a very lucrative career. And while not quite as newsworthy as that, Kanye impersonators are definitely out there. One notable character, a man from Detroit, has gotten so good at mimicking the rapper that he has worked his way into parties, shows, and other VIP situations. Fans note these impersonators and ask one very important question. If these are the ones we know about, where are the impersonators we don't know about? The performance at the Travis Scott concert seemingly drew more attention than expected, as the Kanye is real crowd used their kung fu grip on this one. They refused to let it go, drawing comparisons and contrasts to the Kanye of days past. Is there any merit to their claims? And if Kanye has been cloned or replaced, who else might not be who they say they are? The origins of the celebrity clones and replacements theory goes back decades. But as far as Kanye is concerned, the rumor can be traced back to one Donald Marshall. Marshall is known as a conspiracy theorist who claims to have had first-hand experience with the Illuminati in fact, his clone theory is connected to an Illuminati plot. As he tells it, Kanye West and many other celebrities have REM clones. These are clones that wake up and walk around while the original is asleep, and they shut down or go limp once the original wakes up. These REM clones walk and talk like their originals, but there is always something a bit off about them. Despite being clones, they do not appear to be quite perfect. The clones, made by the Illuminati, are far easier to control than the originals. So when the person who has been cloned gets out of line, the clone is placed in the limelight and the original person is hidden away or done away with. Kanye West's clone is believed to be an earlier model, one with more flaws than later clones. Those who believe this theory claim that these flaws are what gave him away as a clone. 
During various interviews and public events, the Kanye clone has malfunctioned or glitched out. The most notable example of this happening is claimed to be an interview on the Ellen DeGeneres talk show. This interview, which has largely been removed from the internet, is indeed bizarre. Some claimed Kanye was experiencing a mental breakdown, or that he might have been using illicit substances at the time. However, the Kanye clone stands say otherwise. Once Donald Marshall's REM clone theory was out of the bottle, there was no putting it back in. Whether it was true or not, it did seem to neatly tie up some confusing actions by several celebrities. Kanye, of course, had many instances where his actions made more sense if he was a clone being controlled by the Illuminati. Being such a prominent member of the pop culture, Kanye West's clone could be brought in, reprogrammed, and sent back out into the world with a new message anytime they needed him. With that setup, those who believe in this theory point to the 2016 election. 2016 was one of the many times Kanye has disappeared from the limelight over the last two decades, only to return as a new, completely different version of himself. When he came back this time, however, he made the biggest splash of his career. Kanye hit the scene with striking blonde hair and an even more striking message. Kanye West was endorsing Donald Trump. What made this such a shock was how vehemently Ye had stood against politicians and the Republican Party specifically in the past. During a now famous incident, the rapper went off script during a televised live fundraiser to loudly proclaim, George Bush doesn't care about black people. For that same man to proudly support a Republican candidate, barely 10 years later was a complete about face especially when it was a figure as divisive as the Donald. It appears even Donald Trump was pleasantly surprised, as after the election, he invited the hip-hop star to the White House. Kanye obliged, and the two spent the day together. The photos of Kanye wearing a MAGA hat surprised many on both sides of the line. However, REM clone theorists remain unsurprised. They pointed to the meeting as their crowning, we told you so moment. Since that meeting at the White House, Kanye's words have made national news on more than one occasion and have garnered him plenty of fire. He has gone on several anti-Semitic tirades, including an exceptionally aggressive rant on Infowars with Alex Jones. It was these anti-Semitic outbursts that caused the fallout with Adidas as well as several other sponsors. REM clone theorists disagree on the reason for these events. Some claim that it was a bug in his programming, while others believe it was intentional. Even those who think it may have been intentional aren't in agreement, however. The community seems to think that it was either intended to create a distraction to hide some other news, or it was a part of a long-term conditioning by the powers that be to turn the public against the Jewish people. Kanye West is far from the only celebrity to be the subject of this kind of scrutiny. Kanye himself has claimed that Elon Musk is a clone. In recent years, the most persistent replacement theory has been around Avril Lavigne. Melissa, as she is known to fans, is claimed to have replaced the famous singer in 2003. Some say she is a clone, while others say Melissa is just a body double, but the result was ultimately the same. Avril is said to have died, and Melissa was put in her place by the record studio. At the time, the pop punk princess was at the height of her career, and the studio could not risk losing a money-making machine like her. So Melissa became Avril, and has remained Avril ever since. The evidence put forth by theorists ranges in veracity. They say that Melissa left clues in her songs, much like another very famous replaced songwriter. There are also photos from a publicity event where Avril has the name Melissa written on her hand. While many see the evidence as being shaky at best, 
there are those who wholeheartedly believe it. The same can be said of possibly the biggest, most popular subject of replacement theories, Paul McCartney. Paul McCartney has been scrutinized for decades for more than just his music. Many people believe the original Paul is dead. We have a whole video on it, if you'd like to check out the details of this theory. The short version, however, is that Paul died, and the record company and the British government conspired together to make a new Paul. They were afraid that if the truth came out, there would be panic in the streets, and so the Beatles needed to stay together as they were. Clues were supposedly left in nearly every song the Beatles released after Paul's death, and those who believe the theory have even made documentaries compiling their arguments. The Beatles themselves responded to the allegations, but considering they were all supposedly sworn to secrecy on the matter, there was nothing they could say that would convince anyone that Paul was alive. So are these celebrities dead? Have they been cloned or otherwise replaced? In all honesty, the likelihood is rather low, but it is not impossible. Conclusive evidence has yet to be shown proving the REM clone theory. However, celebrities who have been accused of being clones, robots, or imposters do have a long history of saying and doing really weird things. Could these strange activities be proof that they are not their original selves? Maybe. Maybe not. Ultimately, it comes down to perception. What do you believe? Thanks for watching. Don't forget to give us a like, and we'll see you in our next trip down the rabbit hole.